Hey, Shalom, Shalom, early morning plantation. Oh, man. <clears throat> Through the spirit of Yahweh, send me out shy. You know, bear with me through the spirit, Lord. You know, um, just want to touch on something in the spirit, come out with a couple of scriptures, you know, to show you how serious, you know, this truth of ours is. We got to understand that this walk of ours is not going to be easy. The same way it wasn't easy for our forefathers, the prophets, man. The same way it wasn't easy. Father, Lord, Yahweh, Shai as well, and the disciples. So as we take this journey, you know, as we walk and we take this journey, you know, of truth, hoping as prisoners of hope, you know, as we believe the testimony that says that our Lord will shall return one day, that we shall receive salvation, man. This is the hope we have. But going on to that, man, on our way there, this journey is going to be tough. And I know you heard me saying it plenty of times. You heard our apostles and elders speak on it plenty of times, man. You know, this thing of ours is nothing to play around with. It's nothing easy. You're going to go through afflictions. You're going to go through sickness and ailments, okay? And I want to give you a good example because this is the elders of Great Millstone. And I'm going to play something to you because there's a... There was a certain brother, you know, in the camp, in the main camp in New York, and we don't know who it is. It's not my business. I'm just making a lesson out of it to show brothers that this is not a game, you know. And, you know, whoever this brother is, it seems like, you know, he's been missing camp, you know. And, you know, the elders, man, they don't play that, man. You know, the scripture said in season and out of season, you know, this thing is very serious. That's why the scriptures say, if, you're, if your left hand makes you sin, cut it off. We are body. We are one body. You know, we're supposed to function as one body. You know? So, you know, I mean, things happen. You know, sometimes you get real ill, very sick, where you definitely can't come out. You know, things happen, yes. But if you're still able to walk, you stay able to talk, you're still able to... You know, I mean, you could be sick, man. There's been plenty of times that we're, that, you know, and, and it's not boasting or saying I'm better or we better than anybody, but it's been plenty of times that, you know, we got back problems, we're sick, we got a bad flu, you know, we out there, man. Sore throat, you know, eyes, uh, ailments, man, skin problems, you know. There's a lot of things that, that you know, a lot of times, you know, that, you know, the elders and brothers and myself, we, you know, we go through, but you're still out there in the spirit. The Lord gives you the amount, the Heavenly Father gives you an amount of strength, you know, an amount of energy to go out there if you truly believe, if you truly, you know what I'm saying, believe in this testimony of Yah Bashim Yah Shai. He'll give you the energy to, over, to overpower, to endure, you know, out there until the end, well, how, many, how many hours you out there holding camp, if you truly believe it. If you're able to get up and your two legs, you're able to walk, you're able to see, you know what I'm saying, and then you got ailments, you don't feel good, but you're able to do it, hey, go out there, man. Now, you got to be smart. It could be times where you just, man, you, you out of commission. You, you got the flu. You really effed up or something where you can't walk barely or you got a cut or sore. Or you just got out of surgery or, you know, you got stitches or something happened. Where you got into an accident. You know, you got to use your common sense, you know. But let me just play this, man. Because this ain't a joke. We're going to get some scriptures. And if you was not, the most I was going to judge him. Right. He said he had called out last week. That uh, he had a uh, he had a uh, pain, stiff neck, sore throat, and at first he said he was gonna make it at 240, but then he called saying that he was able to make it from the pain. Tell him to go home. All right. Tell him we'll see you next. Yeah, now we got. Send that to him. And many times when we came there, remember last year? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucked up. Send it, send it down. Come here. You got a stiff neck. Half dead. Come yeah. here. Half dead. I was gonna say. Yeah. Hey, this guy used to work at this the IBM. The 
was a technical guy. It was a Benjamin Knight, an older Benjamin Knight, but he was like, Bill. And there was something that somebody got stabbed up or whatever. And he said the man couldn't come to work. He said the man don't come to work. He said Jamaica men. What did they say? He said the men, the men that get bit by a shark and still go to work. Something like that. He said they swim among the sharks. You know? Another another story was this Cuban guy. He said he got stabbed up. He went to the hospital. Then he got up and went to work the same the next day, man. Yeah. yeah. So come on, man. I got a, yeah. I got a stiff neck. Yeah. Now, my man, he said stiff he's neck. Full of, he's, full of of he's full of khaki. And then that's, you know, that sets a bad morale for the rest of the man. Yeah. If they see that, they say, oh, this guy's getting away with Well, what are they seeing today? They seeing that. Yeah, and, and that's very true because we're supposed to rep. We're, we're, you know, we, we put ourselves in the front line, man. All the brothers, you know, that out there in the highways and byways, you know, you, 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 you put yourself out there in the front line. You got a responsibility. We're supposed to be, um, you know, examples for other men that are, that are learning and are coming into the fold in the last hour and, you know, want to come out to to do the Lord's word, you know. You know, you, 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 you know, you, you, you know, we, we supposed to show an example, man. So, man, you know, you got a stiff neck, you, you know, you got a sore throat, man, you able to go out, man. You know, I mean, come on. And the thing is, you know, Jake, you know, this is our job. This is our number one job. We always say that. Like right now, I'm at work right now. I'm miserable here. I don't want to work here because I already know there's a new world coming. There's a new world, man, where our Lord is going to come. And he's going to reign in righteousness and Lord willing. We're part of that, man. This is just, this is, we're just passing by. This is not our job. Our, our true job is being men of the Lord, going out there, warning our people, you know, learning, going to hit the highways. That's our true job. Just like the prophets, you know? And Jake, Jake will go, go to work, you know, if he knows that Esau or the company he works for, you know, they're going to fire his ass if he keep missing work. He'll, 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 he'll make sure he get the work to save his job, man. And Jake will put all that energy to keep his job, but he won't put that same energy for Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. The Lord looks for sacrifice. That's why Romans chapter 12 said, present your body as sacrifices, as a living sacrifice. What do you think that means? A living sacrifice. What do you think that means, man? You're going to suffer. The scripture tells you we're going to suffer, man. <clears throat> All right? Let me get, um, let's get Mark 13 and 13. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. We've got to endure. Sirach 2 and 13. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted. For he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. 